My name is Kim. I grew up in a Christian home. Um, we went to church often. I was saved when I was four years old. When I was in junior high, I really just wanted to fit in. So at, at this point, I had been smoking, drinking, skipping class. I had been smoking marijuana. I remember going out with friends one night and I had smoked some crank. I went the next day and I bought some methamphetamines and I started using. And I used every day for um, quite some time. At this point, I was 19 years old. I found out I was pregnant. Still not very happy, but I started to get a little bit excited because I'd always wanted to be a mom ever since I was a little kid. And this wasn't the ideal time to be pregnant, but there I was pregnant and I thought, I'm gonna have this baby now. And I remember I was just, I was crying over it and I thought, now I'm gonna make a change. I remember driving back to my friend's house and I threw my meth out the window and I thought, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I don't need to do this anymore. I'm not going to. And I really had no desire to use. The few people that I told, it seemed very clear to me that I didn't have anyone to support me. And I was really embarrassed to tell a lot of people. So the, the few who knew, um, I just felt like they weren't behind me. They wouldn't support me because my decision was to have a baby. I, having an abortion or it just never, never even crossed my mind. I never thought of that as an option. But I remember a friend just practically yelling at me, saying, this is stupid. You don't have a job. You don't have a place to live. How can you have a baby? Um, and it was suggested by a few people that I have an abortion. I didn't have anyone that had a relationship with God really in my life. You know, He wasn't in my friends, the people that I surrounded myself with. And so I felt really alone. The people that I thought would be supportive weren't. Because I remember thinking if just one person, that's all I need is just one person to say, you know what? you're going to make the right decision and you're going to have this baby and you're not going to go through with this. But I, I didn't have that. Having an abortion was, it was the worst feeling. It was very emotional and very painful physically during the procedure and after. And then I remember after going into like a recovery room and there was maybe 10, 15 other girls there that had just gone through the same thing. I just kept thinking, all these babies just died. I'm just gone. I didn't even want to think about it, but there was physical pain as a reminder of what I had gone through. And I didn't have anyone going in. I didn't have anyone coming out of there that I could talk to about this. I was so embarrassed. Um, even if I had somebody to talk to about it, I don't think I would have wanted to. I would forget about it, but things would remind me um, of being pregnant and of what I had done. I started using just because it was so painful. And I thought, you know, I felt like everyone wanted me to have an abortion. And so I was mad. I was angry and I thought, you know what, then I'm not gonna care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back to using meth. And so I continued to use methamphetamines. And really just, I was at a low point in my life. I started reading my Bible. I started praying to God that he would just take that desire to go, the desire to use drugs to go away. And he did. I, I didn't really go through a struggle. I was an emotional wreck though, just from being pregnant and coming off the drugs. And I was still just depressed, but through going to church and developing that relationship with God again, He started to heal me of that. But those thoughts of what I had done, you, you can't ever escape them. They always come back. You know, you'll hear something on the news or just being pregnant again later, those feelings come back. And as much as I would ask for forgiveness, I would ask over and over again. And I would think, why am I asking for forgiveness? I know God forgives me. Why do I why do I feel like I need to keep asking him to forgive me? 
And I know it's because that pain and that shame never went away. When I realized what grace is, and I finally got it, I asked for forgiveness for the last time. I, I told God what I did. You know, I, this is what I did. And I asked him to forgive me for the last time because I knew that I was forgiven, but also that he's shown me grace and I don't have to live with that guilt anymore. And I don't have to live with that pain and that embarrassment. And I now have hope and peace through God. I love this verse in Romans 15, verse 13. It says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love this because it just talks about filling with hope and that through, through God and His Holy Spirit that there's peace and there's joy. No matter what situation, I can have hope and know that God's going to take care of me and it's all going to work out. If you feel that you can relate to my story or if you find yourself in a similar situation as I was, I didn't have anyone and I just felt like I needed one person. And if you're in that situation and you need one person to connect with or one person to help you, please feel free to email me on my page at hope360.org. My name is Kim and I'm a Hope360 storyteller.